Crazy Pixel. Zombie shooter games aren't around as much as they used to. Just a few years ago, they were popping up left and right, and one of them that I loved was Dead Nation. Developer Diabolical Mind and publisher Cowcat seem to tap into the fast-paced genre with their newest game. However, the price of entry comes with hours of frustratingly difficult moments of gameplay. I'm Brad Crespo, and this is Noisy Pixel's review of Riddle Corpses X for the Nintendo Switch. Similar to many zombie twin-stick shooters, Riddle Corpse's story mode is bare bones at its finest. It boils down to there being an apocalypse, which has spurred chaos into the world. You play as one of six survivors, and must shoot your way through waves of the undead to save yourself and the world. Staying alive in any of Riddle Corpse's three modes, story, arcade, and survival, is a test of skill and luck that will have you banging your head, even in the game's first stage. The story mode is an absolute grind fest due to how gold runs everything around you. Aside from your trusty gun, there's dynamite to throw and a clock item to use to slow down time. But you either have to buy these items, which are pricey, or luckily find them scattered in stages, which surprisingly is frustrating since they pop up randomly. Every stage run gets easier after you level up, have a set number of items, and use other characters. But getting enough gold to do so is a journey full of pain and suffering. The story mode overall feels like a grueling slog due to how grindy it is. Riddle Corpse's twin stick shooter gameplay will test your skills. Across each stage, hordes of enemies will try to take you out, while you make your way to the stage boss. Enemy design in Riddle Corpses hosts a diverse mix of enemies, including some memorable bosses. With only 3 lives, which you can buy or find more, and no health bar, you always need to think fast in Riddle Corpses, and that's what makes it fun. But what's not fun is how item drops happen randomly. Aside from the story mode, the other two modes, arcade mode and survival mode, work well, and I actually found Riddle Corpses arcade mode to be slightly more enjoyable than the story mode simply because it doesn't feel like a grind. Teaming up with a friend is the way to go with Riddle Corpses, since there is local co-op for all three modes for players to enjoy. It's a bummer, however, that there isn't online co-op even in the Switch version of the game. On the topic of the Switch version, the retro look of this game is left unchanged. There is the option to change how things look by changing the screen filter, which there are three screen filters in total. One small issue that I did notice though is when the game is in dock mode on the Switch, it looks a bit off. However, the retro feel of Riddle Corpses for Switch is still a delight, especially with its funky chiptune soundtracks. Riddle Corpses X is a game best played in short bursts, so it's a good fit for the Switch. But it's a teeth clenching grind that might end up putting you into an anger management class and have you feeling like a zombie once you play it for only a couple of hours. Since there's nothing new added to the Switch version, I can only recommend it to those that are in dire need to get a zombie twin six shooter fix. Noisy Pixel is giving Riddle Corpses X for Nintendo Switch a 6 out of 10. Thank you for blasting your way into our review. You can read our full review at NoisyPixel.net. Noisy Pixel is ran by a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please make sure to subscribe to keep up with all of our future content.